It's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited about today's video because I am sharing with you this colorful, magical, mermaid inspired makeup look featuring the new Too Faced Clover eyeshadow palette. I got this actually yesterday in my PR unboxing. If you guys missed that, I will leave it linked in the cards. I do all of my PR unboxing videos on my second channel, which is Jack Jack Vlogs, so make sure you are subscribed to that channel. So today I'm going to be featuring this palette right here. Ooh, look at all the colors. I was super excited when I first saw this palette because I love all the different colors in this palette. I feel like Too Faced is pretty known for all their neutral colors, mainly focusing on like like warm peachy colors, maybe a purple here and there, but this one actually is a very colorful palette and I'm super excited so I definitely wanted to create a colorful look and this is what I came up with and I'm just so stoked to share it with you guys. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jackie. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can officially become part of the Little Flower family and if you hit the little bell, you will be notified of future videos, hopefully, because. YouTube can be a little weird. We all know that. I upload four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So just in case you're not getting the notifications, be sure to tune back into my channel on those days for new videos. So this tutorial is actually using all Too Faced products. So this is a full face Too Faced cosmetics makeup tutorial minus just two products. My concealer, which is my holy grail, the Tarte Shape Tape, and then the eyeliner I put on my waterline. This is actually from Prestige. It's a purple eyeliner. But other than that, everything else I use um, for my eyes and face are from Too Faced Cosmetics. Oh, and my false lashes are not from Too Faced Cosmetics. They don't make fake lashes, do they? I'll have to look into that. I will leave links to everything I use in the comments below, so if you want to check anything out, there will be links down below just for you guys. Just for a quick reference before we jump in, I'm going to be using the purple, the blue, the pinks, and the green, and then the black. So if you don't have this palette, go grab those colors and then we can get started on this eyeshadow look. Hello guys! So I already have my eyebrows done and then I did one eye already and this eye I have it prepped and primed so I put concealer and then set it with powder so now we're ready for eyeshadows. So I'm going to take the Too Faced Clover eyeshadow palette. I am super excited to use this. It is my first time using these eyeshadows, so this is also kind of a first impression. So first I'm taking this soft yellow nude beige eyeshadow called Chihuahua, and this is going to be the transition shade. So I'm just going to blend that up into the crease like this. Next, taking Love is Love, which is this bright pink eyeshadow. I'm taking that on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to blend that into the crease. This is like our second transition color. Also, I'm showing you right now how I always raise my eyebrows to do my eyeshadow look because since I have hooded eyes, um, when I raise my eyebrows, I'm able to see all the space on my lid a lot better and work a lot easier with eyeshadows. So if you do have hooded eyes, there's a little trick you can do to apply your eyeshadow a lot easier. So after that, I'm going to take Daddy Hearts Me, which is this more darker magenta pink. I'm gonna take that on another fluffy brush and blend that into the crease as well. So we're just building the different depth and dimension and colors into the crease right now. With the shade TF Mascot, which is this shimmery purple, this is actually the first shimmery color we're using, I'm gonna take that on a blending brush and then again, blend that into the crease. This color is super gorgeous and vibrant, but it can also get a little messy. So I'm just going in with Chihuahua again to clean up the edges. So now taking Lucky Clover, which is this really pretty pale green. I'm kind of obsessed with this color. I am placing that with a flat shader brush on my lid like this. Like this color is just so, so gorgeous. I love it. Now with this shimmery turquoise color called Spoiled, I'm going to take that on my ring finger and place that on top of the green eyeshadow, so right on the lid. And this color is so beautiful and it swatches beautifully, but it, for some reason it just doesn't really stay on the lid that well. So you're going to see, right now it looks beautiful, but this color fades so quickly, like it just falls off the lid, which is weird because I feel like I don't have that problem with any other eyeshadow, just that one. So next, this shade, Best Friends. I wanted to take this on the outer corner because look at how beautiful this color is. 
it like has so many different colors in it there's like purple gray and blue it's like kind of holographic it's just a gorgeous shade but I put that in the crease and although it's a beautiful color it just was not working for this look so I didn't like it so instead I went in with the black shade which is called woof I don't know if this is like a true black it's there's some blue shimmers maybe it's like a midnight blue because this definitely isn't like a black black like black is the shirt I'm wearing right now this is not black but it's the darkest shade in the palette so I'm using that and I'm just placing it on the outer corner and outer crease and then I'm going to go in with a blending brush to blend that all out and then you'll see as I'm blending the blue shade that I put on top of the green you're gonna see it start to fall off so I definitely had to go back in and reapply that as well and heck, while I'm at it, I'm also going to take the purple and blend that into my crease just to intensify the purple tones to this eyeshadow look. I forgot to mention this earlier, but be sure to do your eyeshadows first, especially if you're using this palette because there was a ton of fallout. So I am just taking a makeup wipe now to clean it all up and sharpen the edges of my eyeshadow look. Now with my candy liner from the Too Faced and Candy Johnson collection, I am going to basically stamp on my eyeliner now. That's the best method I have found using this eyeliner because it has such a unique applicator. So stamping it on like this is definitely the best way to achieve your eyeliner look. And I'm going to wing out my eyeliner because I always love a winged liner and I feel like it's very easy with this applicator as well. So again, just stamping it on until I like the length and sharpness of my wing liner. Going back into the magenta shade called Daddy's Heart Me, I'm going to take that on a small little pencil brush and bring that onto my lower lash line. Do you guys hear a dog collar? Yeah, that's my sister's dog. <laughs> And with the shade Wolf, which is the darker shade that we used on the outer corner, I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and place that on the outer half of my lower lash line. And that's it for the eyeshadows on the lower lash line. So now I'm taking this Prestige eyeliner and I'm just heating it up with a little lighter real quick. There's a little trick. If your eyeliner pencil is just really dry and it just kind of drags and tugs across your eyelid, you can use that trick to warm it up so it glides right across. So I'm using that purple on my lower lash line and now I'm moving on to false lashes. And I believe these lashes are from the Bold Face Makeup in the style Just Own It. Again, I'll have links to everything I used in today's video linked in the description box for you guys. And now I'm quickly going to add mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Adding mascara to the top lashes help your real lashes blend in with the fake lashes a lot better. And the mascara I'm using is from Too Faced Cosmetics. It's the Better Than Sex Mascara. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade I Rough You. Aren't these names just so cute? This is kind of like a shimmery pinky highlight color. I'm going to place this on my entire brow bone area and I know this might be a little harsh to use all over under the brow like this but because the look is just so colorful I feel like it it like just goes with it. And with the shade Puppy Eyes which is this white shimmery shade I'm placing that just right on the arch of my brow or like right under my, the arch of my brow and then also the inner corner to brighten up the eyes. So now the eyes are done and we can work on the face. So I'm first going to do start off with my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. I love this stuff. Just using that with my fingers to apply that all over my face. And then I'm gonna move into my foundation also from the Peaches and Cream collection. It looks like just a bigger version of the primer. They like have the same packaging. So I'm gonna take that on my e.l.f. Cosmetics Beauty Sponge. This is my favorite sponge. I talked about it in my October favorites. It's incredible. So I'm going to pump the foundation onto the sponge and the sponge is dry. I'm using it dry and I'm going to blend that into my skin and it's just going to give such a flawless airbrushed look. It's like, it's just so perfect. Going in with my Holy Grail concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna apply that on the normal areas. I apply my concealer and I'm just going to blend that out with the same beauty sponge. Um, I love this concealer so, so much, but if you're looking for a great one from Too Faced, their Born This Way concealer is super, super awesome. Now, now I'm gonna bake. Yep, I'm going to bake my face. I never do this. You like never see this makeup technique 
on my channel and it's because it's never worked for me until I found this powder. This powder from Too Faced Cosmetics is just so soft and amazing and it just works so perfectly. So I'm taking a pure cosmetic sponge and I'm using it dry and I'm taking the sharp edge to press the powder under my eyes and basically put the powder everywhere I put the concealer so that way it just locks and holds and sets everything in place. So I definitely don't want my concealer moving so I am going to bake those areas and then take a fluffy brush and just sweep it all away and that's it. There's no white cast, no flashback, none of that. It's amazing. This powder is so awesome. And plus, it smells like peaches and it tastes like peaches. It actually tastes really good. Whenever Johnny kisses my face, he can taste the peachiness to it. And he's like, mmm, you taste so good. <laughs> So Too Faced also has these melting powder products. They have blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. So I'm going to use one of their bronzers and I'm loading it up on my brush. I just feel like when I work with cream products on a brush, I really have to just load it up on the brush. I'm going to use this to contour. I feel like as long as you blend it out, because right now I know mine is looking a little weird, but as long as you blend it out, it gives such a natural contour and like sculpt look to your face so really really love it and then I'm gonna go in with the blush also from the melting powder collection that they have I'm gonna take this really bright pink blush again loading it up on my brush and applying that to the apples of my cheek and blending back so because our eyes are just so bright and we have those pink tones to our eyeshadow look I definitely want to have a bright pink blush to complement the eyeshadow look with the candy illuminizer this stuff smells so sweet and delicious just like candy it just it's so yummy i am taking that on a brush again loading it up because it's a cream product and i'm going to highlight my cheekbones and nose and cupid's bow this step is not totally necessary but with the peach blur powder i'm just going to load that on a brush and just kind of sweep this across my face just to I don't know, have all the makeup just melt together and just look so airbrushed and flawless and really give it that blur filter kind of effect. So I really like this powder. As long as you use the right brush, it, it works amazing. So last but not least, the lip products. These are new from Too Faced Cosmetics. They have peaches on them. They're from the Peaches and Cream collection. So these are the two nude, nude shades. I am using Sunday Funday, which is the darker of the two. That's what I'm using first. So I'm applying that all over my lips and then I'm going to take Doll Face, I think that's the name of the shade, which is the lighter nude and I'm going to place that right on top, mixing those two nude shades together for this perfect nude which complements this eyeshadow look so well. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how this eyeshadow look came out. I kept the eyes very colorful. We went a little heavier with the blush today and then kept the lips totally nude and I'm obsessed with how it turned out. I know it's fall time and I know I wear heavier makeup during the fall, especially like darker lips, but I feel like the nude lips just complement this colorful kind of darker smoky eye really, really nicely. So to me, I feel like this is still a fall appropriate look. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna be rocking this during fall. If you guys like videos like this where I focus on one brand or focus on a certain palette, let me know what other brands or specific products you guys would like me to show in videos like these, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!